What's going on guys, welcome back to another video. So today we're just gonna have a little chat about Union Arena, some of the allocations and some of the prices at the moment, just my opinion on that. So the actual booster boxes, so Hunter x Hunter and Bleach, the booster boxes official release date for them is actually October the 4th. Now, for those of you that are into Union Arena, you're on Facebook, you're in those groups, you're on the discords and things like that. So you may have noticed a lot of it has been opened. People have been opening a lot of product getting lots of hits and, and selling them and you know people have been enjoying the new english release of the trading card game now first of all there were allocations so to me this was not a surprise whatsoever i actually would have been very surprised if there weren't any allocations so just so you're aware allocation just means that you as a store may have ordered um, product from distributors. Maybe you ordered like 10 cases and basically an allocation just means you're not getting that full order. You're getting allocated. So you might have ordered 10 cases and you're getting allocated just one case. Now, sometimes with allocations, you'll get allocated, you know, a less amount of product, but you might then get more product in a couple of weeks time. Um, it really depends on the distributor and things like that. So I know some places will be getting their product, you know, a few weeks later than the release date. Um, and then there's been other stores that have been heavily allocated, like maybe 10 cases down to one case. Um, that also usually depends on your relationship with that distributor, how long you've been with them, um, whether your physical store, all of those things can kind of impact how much product you get allocated. Um, so that can all ch change as well. Also, there were some places that sort of, I don't think actually got any allocation. So again, it kind of depends on the distributor you've used and how much they've then got from Bandai um, to then supply their customers with. So there has been some allocations. It doesn't seem like everyone's got them and it's really really bad but it, there's definitely been some form of allocation there which yeah as i said expected at the end of the day this is bandai um and even when they announced union arena they were already struggling with printing one piece to meet the demand right and they've only just caught up with that so here in the uk like one piece literally had a reprint about a week or two ago um there was a restock for even opo1 so even the first set there's a restock of that about a week or two weeks back now. So they've only kind of just caught up with reprinting One Piece. Um, so yeah, allocations, I think, were completely expected for Union Arena's release. Now, obviously, what that usually does to prices is, you know, pushes prices up because there's not the supply to meet the demand that the stores wanted to order in the first place. So that's kind of a natural thing that will happen. But not only that, like it's a new TCG there's clearly a lot of people really excited and really interested in picking this up. So I think anyway, like prices potentially would have gone up a bit, but there's a big thing we need to remember here and it's not officially released, right? So some of the raw card prices at the moment are super, super high. And to me, that's purely because we're at this kind of pre-release middle road where like it's not officially out. So at the end of the day, if you think about it, there's still loads and loads of product out there that hasn't even been shipped to customers because it's not officially released, right? So there's loads of product that still needs to go out to people that still will be opened. So at the moment, the raw cards out there, just the, the cards that people have managed to open early at the end of the day. So I personally, that makes complete sense. You know, the supply is very small right now because most of the product hasn't been opened right so prices are in my opinion prices are looking very high for some of those union arena cards at the moment now personally i think if you're going to want to pick some of this up and i guess this this is kind of what social media and the internet does like it feeds into that hype that fomo and that excitement and people will just rush to to get that card to buy those cards and have them in hand as soon as possible so some people just genuinely don't mind paying the extra amount to just get that card as soon as possible um, but it's just a word of caution to everyone that in my opinion prices are going to they're going to come down like they're going to come down after release so if i was looking to buy a specific card from these sets 
personally i would wait until a week or two weeks after the release and you're probably going to see a bit more of like an accurate market price for those cards whereas at the moment in my opinion same with like all trading card games a new set comes out that loads of people are excited for prices are sky high on that release day and when they first come out and then a couple of weeks after things start to kind of drop off and, and come to like a more healthy and accurate market price so yeah if you want to pick something up potentially you'll be better off waiting a week or two until after release has happened at the end of the day that gives enough time for that most of that product to go out there end up in customers hands get opened and then obviously raw cards start selling more online because the supply of those raw cards just go up a lot compared to now where the sets aren't actually officially released not only that but it seems like the pull rates in english are slightly higher so you, you're going to get slightly more hits which is expected again bandai one piece um, the English product for One Piece had nearly double the amount of hits as the Japanese product. We've got something fairly similar here. Um, so there's quite a lot of boxes in a case that will have two one star hits compared to Union Arena Japanese. You are only getting a one star hit per booster box. So you've, you've got an increase in the amount of hits you're getting for those higher rarities. You know, obviously not the not necessarily the three star and things like that you know those really rare and desired ones but even some of those one stars look really really nice to be honest and are very collectible but you're getting almost double the amount of them per booster box um so obviously bear that in mind as well because that kind of should be factored into prices again when more product gets opened you're going to see a lot of those one stars starting to surface considering you're getting either one or two of them Per booster box it seems to be sort of 50 50 i think half the boxes in the case will have two of them in so we will know more as the set releases we get more confirmation on those pull rates and i will do a video for the english pull rates the similar to the japanese pull rates video i did so yeah make sure to subscribe if you want to check that out when it gets released but yeah it's just a word of caution that it's not officially released prices are sky high and you know of course there's a reason for that they are very very likely to come down as time goes on and more gets opened now lastly i just want to mention reprints as well like obviously japanese union arena really didn't have many reprints i think nikkei may have been the only one we've had potentially so far at the moment um but I think what will be really interesting with English Union Arena is just seeing what they do with reprints because although you know it might seem at the moment that yeah it's been allocated we need to you know reprint this and you know the supply is clearly not there to, to meet the demand because stores got their product allocated there's something we really need to think about which is how long it takes them to do a reprint like if you think about one piece how they've only just caught up with sort of reprinting one piece sets um the supply issues were maybe six to 12 months ago so that kind of shows you how long it's taken them to sort of get around to to really reprinting enough to meet the the demand and sort of balance out that supply and demand so people can actually get the product and they don't have to pay 1.5 or two times what the normal box prices would be to get it so with union arena i think it's going to be interesting because if you think about it let's let's just think okay in three or four months time when you know jjk is out you know we're getting demon slayer one punch and every month there's going to be a new set coming out in you know in four months time is the demand for hunter x hunter and bleach going to be the same as it is today I don't think it will like at the end of the day it's brand new tcg and it's two brand new sets i don't think in four five or six months time the same excitement for those sets will be there as it is today when you know everyone just wants to get their hands on the latest union arena english card game um so it will be interesting to see if they do restock these sets because personally i think if they do reprint them by the time that reprint comes no one's really going to be that bothered about it because everyone's going to be thinking about the, the set that's coming out that month right every month is a new set so they're going to be so focused on that new set 
Um, you don't get me wrong, there's going to be the odd fan who really specifically wants Bleach or really specifically wants Hunter x Hunter and doesn't necessarily care as much as about those other sets because that's their favourite anime. But, you know, the general collector, the general person picking up this product is wanting it because it's new. It's new, it's fresh and exciting. And months down the line, they're not going to necessarily want those cards or the same way they did you know this week or, or the week of release um so it will be interesting to see what happens with that because personally i don't think they necessarily need a reprint and again it does come down to sort of those allocations like some stores getting products slightly later maybe having that sort of second wave rather than like a reprint obviously that can change things a lot as well that would actually work i guess in favor um because those waves technically come quick enough that it's it's the perfect time whereas five months down the line it's usually like people kind of over it they're focused on the the newer sets that are coming out so that will be a really interesting one to keep an eye on i think and i'll probably do some obviously videos and market videos and things like that so actually i will be doing a market price sort of release day market price video um, this weekend so if you're not subscribed hit subscribe and obviously we can go through the prices on the actual sort of release weekend the official release weekend anyway of the sets and see exactly where those prices are and um yeah maybe even by that point we might have some coming down slightly but yeah it would be really interesting one to look at just to see what prices are doing for what cards in the set and just lastly one other thing about the sets and as newer sets come out like potentially those newer sets as well that they, they do more and add more to the sets, similar to japanese like japanese started there were no signatures eventually a few sets later they started adding signatures a few sets later after that they started adding pen sign serialized cards so if english follows that same suit and they start adding pen signed cards and the serialized cards obviously jjk confirmed getting serial cards but not signatures but later down the line that also draws a lot of attention away from those original sets um, because there's just more in those newer sets, more exciting things that take the demand away. So yeah, let's see what happens. Let's see if um, we get any news about reprints or, or things like that. I, I I can't imagine we would hear anything about that anytime soon. Um, but yeah, personally, I kind of I kind of would hope that they probably don't reprint and actually just put more put more of that printing power into those newer sets that are coming out because at the end of the day that's where each of the demand sort of ends up it, it, everyone kind of looks for that next set that newer set as long as the ip is really strong which obviously english you know all the ip so far are pretty pretty strong but yeah hope you enjoyed the video guys anyway so if you did please hit like and subscribe thanks for watching as always i'll see you guys in the next video